guys welcome back to my channel this is nas uv thank you very much for always finding time to visit my channel each time i post new videos thank you very much i'm very very grateful and i appreciate all of you today i'll be dropping a video on the myths the notion people have concerning cancer that's the things that we hear around and we put it in mind that is the truth meanwhile it is not the truth about cancer number one we'll be looking at when people talk about cancer being contagious cancer cannot be transmitted from one person to the other it is not contagious okay meanwhile there are some cancers that are caused by viruses Ex examples we have the and the hpv virus which is the human papilloma virus which is it is a major factor is a major virus that causes or that predisposes one to cervical cancer that can be transmitted the virus can be transmitted but not the cancer we also have the hiv virus which predisposes one to the skin cancers where you have the sarcoma the uh that one the virus the hiv virus can be transmitted but not the cancer that it causes also we could also have hepatitis b virus that predisposes one to liver cancer liver cancer cannot be transmitted from one person to the other but hepatitis b virus can be transmitted okay the second myth is some people would say if a member of your family have cancer you would likely have cancer it is not in every cases in fact some life um, lifestyle changes can be made and one would um, not have cancer in the future okay like maybe changes in lifestyle you have cigarette smoking you could stay off smoking cigarette maybe alcohol alcohol consumption you could stay away from all those things and then some people also say that's the third one some people say that if a member of your family does not have cancer you need not worry about having cancer in fact five to ten percent of cancers are hereditary so in this case still like i said lifestyle changes could also prevent one from being a victim like you do some exercises you check your diet lose some weight avoid alcohol just like in the other one that i said you avoid tobacco smoking and then other people the most important one is that some people a lot of people out there think that cancer is synonymous to date no cancer cannot be synonymous to date you cannot say because i have cancer that i die in fact if cancer is identified earlier and treated it can be prevented in fact it can it can be cured cancer is curable it's a curable disease because a lot of people will get scared that they are going to die immediately they or whenever they hear the word cancer no if it is screened earlier that's why a lot of screening activities need to be done a lot of people need to come out to the hospital to get tested you know some exercises need to to be done a lot of people need to be aware so that they come out on time for screening so that all these things would be curtailed all these mates you know would be curtailed on time and then another one they say some people would say that cancer if I have cancer, I cannot go out to my for my activities. I cannot go to work anymore. I cannot participate in social activities anymore. This is a lie. If you have cancer, come out early and get treated. You can, in fact, cancer, a lot of cancer patients, they come on outpatient basis. We see them in a day, treat them, give them whatever they need on that particular day. And they go back to their family. They go back to their work. You know and they, they are fine you know nobody would even know you have cancer okay so these are the things that we need to tell others you know we need to share these videos so a lot of people would get to see it and some of these assumptions about cancer is going to stop you know and then some people also out there think that um, it is better this the stay um, without maybe if you have a, a, a thought maybe if, if they diagnose you of cancer and you 
you think it inside of you that you don't have cancer you disbelieve that that diagnosis that you're going to be fine you're never going to have cancer no by the time you get diagnosed of cancer you follow up do the right thing do what the doctor says you know carry out everything that the doctor say for your management go to the hospital go to the clinic ask the doctor what you're supposed to do and then you start the treatment on time if you start the treatment on time i in fact trust me you're going to be fine so we also need to come out like i said we also need to come out to the hospitals go to your hospital go and meet your doctor ask your doctor what and what and what you need to do to do so that it will prevent you from predisposing yourself to cancer number one avoid alcohol beverages you know avoid smoking avoid tobacco consumption healthy lifestyle you know lose some weight avoid being obese stop a lot of fried foods you know so you won't gain a lot of weight because these things are um they come hand in hand with cancer they are the risk factors like i say for cancer thank you very much for stopping by once again always come to my channel it's my channel i post very educative and informative videos and also if you haven't subscribed still click the subscribe button be behind this um below this video and then also click on the notification bell right beside that subscribe button and then like thumbs up for me on this video if you benefit Thank you very much. See you next time.